If you're a ZZ Top fan, then you'll probably know Blue Jeans Blues. But if you're not a fan, um, then you might be surprised to learn that ZZ Top played such a classic old school blues style tune. ZZ Top are known for their blues influences, um, but when I heard this real stripped back blues song, um, it was pretty surprising for me. So in this video, I'm going to teach you what Dusty Hill played on the Blue Jeans Blues bass line. Now, it's a fairly simple blues bass line, so if you're just getting into playing blues bass, this is a perfect lesson for you. But also, if you're more advanced, then I'm going to look at the feel that Dusty Hill played it with. Now, this is a really interesting topic. Um, Dusty Hill played really laid back. Um, I'm going to talk more about this in the lesson. Um, but this lesson was requested by Terry Sinclair, so shout out to Terry, and he really talked about um, trying to get this laid back feel. I've written this bass line down note for note, you can get that in the free PDF below this video in the description, there's a link there. Um, so you just sign up to a main list and I'll send you the PDF, and that's in standard notation and tab. So grab that now, it's really useful for the lesson and for learning this bass line. And don't forget also to subscribe to my channel by pressing the red subscribe button. <laughs> The form of Blue Jeans Blues roughly follows a minor 12 bar blues progression, but the progression in this song is only 10 bars long. So this is a useful bass line to play when you want to practice blues that aren't the traditional 12 bar um, blues length. These are the chords for Blue Jeans Blues. So we need to learn the riffs starting on B, E, and F sharp. Now the riffs are slightly different on each um, note for each chord, um, but they've got the same rhythm. First of all, I'm going to show you the riff on B minor, the main riff. So we start on B here, second fret of the A string. It's all played down the bottom end of the bass. So we've got B there. And then we've got F sharp, F sharp, B. Okay, so F sharp's the second fret. F sharp, B, and then G which is the third fret of the E string, and then open A, and then B. Okay, so you need B, F sharp, G, and open A. Okay, so fret two of the A string, fret two of the E string, fret three of the E string, and open A. Now this is in 12-8, so it means you've got four strong beats in the bar, but each beat is divided into three. So you kind of count one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, the first note we hold on for one beat or three small counts. One, two, three, off, two. Okay, so one, two, three, two, two, three. Okay, so listen for the crack of the snare drum. One, two, three, boom, two, boom, boom. Okay, so try that with me. One, two, three, one, Two, three, boom, two, boom, boom, two, two, and then we carry on. Okay, so I'll just do that with counts. So one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Okay, I'll just keep looping that and you join in uh, with me whenever you want. Four, two, three, one. Okay, now when we change to E, we just play a slightly different bar uh, of the B there. We just play. Okay, so we're playing F sharp, F, and then we're down to open E for the E riff, okay? So. F sharp. Now we look at the E riff. Um, I'll play it for you first. One, two, three, four. Okay, so when um, we play the first bar of the E minor, um, we've got a riff there, and then when we play the second bar, we change back, back to B, so we've got something slightly different at the end of the bar. But I'll show you the first bar. Um, so this is the fourth bar of the progression. 
So we've got open E, two, three, bom. And then on the second beat, we actually play a, a short note. One, two, three, two, two. Okay, and what we're doing there is going root, fifth, octave. Octave is eight notes higher, so we're playing the E up there. So we're playing open E, B, second fret of the A string, and E, the high E, second fret of the D string. Okay, one, two, three, boom. And then F sharp, F, E. Okay, so on the E string, two, one, open. Okay, I'll play that bar. I'll just loop that first bar of E minor. One, two, three, boom. And then the second time, it's like this, which is the same. And then we just play G, A, B. Okay, so we play that leading up to the B minor. Okay, so play these two bars of E minor with me. Four, two, three. Back to B. Okay, so that's the same when we get to B minor again. And then when we get to F sharp, it's a similar pattern to the E minor, um, but shifted up two frets. So we play F sharp, which is the second fret of the E string, and then fifth high octave again so we're playing second fret on the E string C sharp full fret of the A string F sharp full fret of the D string okay so this is root fifth octave pattern again but we hold the notes on for longer here one two three two two three one two three two two three okay and we have a little bit of air so we just come off just before the end of that bar so just play that with me so first finger on F sharp second fret the E string. Four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three. Off. Okay, and the last bar, B, which is the fourth fret of the G string, B, D, fifth fret of the A string, B, G, open A. Okay, so that last bar, one, two, three, two, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay, so get your um, third finger on the fourth fret of the G string, B, and then we're going to play B, D, B, low B, okay? Four, two, three, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, three. Okay, so we're going to play the last two bars, F minor, uh, F sharp minor, sorry, and B minor. So get your... Um, first finger ready on the second fret of the E string. Four, two, three. Okay, when I play that, go. I play the F sharp. You need a little finger uh, on the F sharp. Then I skip with my third finger um, to the B up there. It just helps to play that next bar. Okay, so that's kind of the, the whole bass line. So it's just putting these um, three riffs together. If you're enjoying this lesson, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by clicking the red subscribe button on the bottom of the screen. And if you click the bell, then you'll get notified of all my lessons as soon as they come out. So we just look at the intro now. Um, we've got these three guitar pickup notes. Okay, we don't play those, so we just hear those uh, one, two, three, and then we come in on F sharp, G, A, B. So you kind of hear one, two, three. Okay, so one, two, three, ba, 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 one, two, three. And then into the B minor. Okay, so that's the kind of pickup bar, it's not the full bar. You have three counts, um, you hear the guitar, and then you've got half a bar left, okay? Um, but it's just a matter of locking into this 12-8 feel and using the snare drum as it, sort of you hear the crack of the snare drum on beat two, that should help you to place the, the note afterwards leading into beat three, okay? So always listen to those drums. So you can now play through um, with the tab or the written notation and um, with the original track. Um, you've got everything you need, 
just do it slowly first of all and then put it with the with the track um, but when you get to verse two it's actually got 12 bars okay there's an extra two bars of b minor um, i'll play that last line so f sharp so this this is the same as we looked at f sharp B minor, boom. Okay, when we get to that bar there, um, it's just a short B, boom, two, three, four, and then carry on as usual. Okay, so just um, be aware of that for verse two. And then when we get to the last kind of verse, it just loops round and round and round on the B minor. So we don't change at all to F sharp or E on what I've called verse four on the PDF. Okay, just loops round and round. And occasionally we have these extra um, eighth notes in. One, two, three, boom. Okay, Dusty Hill sometimes puts those in. Um, they're fairly random to be honest. So if you feel like putting them in, put them in sometimes. It just adds a little bit more to the bass line. So you've got everything you need for the bass line. I just now want to talk about feel. Now, um, F-E-E-L, not F-I-L-L, -L, okay? So when we talk about feel, it's a bit more of an advanced playing technique. We're thinking about where we're placing our bass line. So once you're playing it in time, um, you can either play it on the beat, behind the beat, or in front of the beat. And if you listen to really great players, they all have a slightly different place um, that they put their bass line. So in a lot of my professional work, if I'm covering for another bass player, I have to listen um, to them and work out where they place a the note. Um, so when I play um, with the band, I'm playing in kind of in the same place as them. Um, so this has got a real laid back feel. Um, so Dusty Hills is playing right on the back with the drums. They're kind of, um, they're doing that without dragging. So that's the kind of, uh, <laughs> that's the thing you've got to be aware of. Don't drag the bass line but you just play it, play it more laid back. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna play with the original drum beat and I'll just demonstrate that. So have a listen and just hear how we're really kind of laying back and just kind of constantly keeping it um, a little bit behind the beat. So now I'm going to play it on top of the beat. Um, I'm going to play it kind of right, right on the beat, and just it's very, very subtle. But have a listen and see if you can kind of hear me sort of pulling the the the, um, the drum beat on a little bit. Okay, so just have a listen. So now I'm going to just do it again laid back. Now, if you're a beginner player or haven't been playing bass for long, then don't worry too much about feel. Um, this is, as I said, a bit more advanced. Um, but for those um, intermediate and upper intermediate players out there, this is something you should definitely think about. Okay, I, I personally, I think it really defines a good bass player where they place their bass lines. And certain styles of music, you'll play differently. So a walking bass line for jazz, you want to drive the song along because often there's just like a, a light drum beat. So there you want to sort of push it a little bit sometimes. Um, if you're playing, obviously, reggae is a classic um, sort of example of how you play it really laid back. Um, but 12-8 blues, sw uh, slow 12-8 blues, you often play those right behind the beat. So mess around with this yourself. Uh, listen to the drums, listen to how he's kind of really um, pulling it back. And then when you're playing this, if you're finding this bass on really simple, then this is the next thing that you can kind of work on when playing with the original track. And also when playing in your own bands.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, please like and share this video, that really helps me out. And also leave me a comment, I love seeing your comments. Let me know how you got on with this. Let me know um, what you think about Phil and as a bass player. What, what do, you, do you kind of uh, look at that yourself? Do you try and play laid back? Do you play on the beat? Um, I'm really interested to hear what you think about that. Um, and if you're a beginner player, if there's any other kind of um, bass lines that you're struggling with, just let me know in the comments. Um, I answer all those and it's great to see them. If you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. The link's at the bottom of the screen, or you can click the link in the description. So they're $5 coffees. Um, you can get that if you just wanna um, say thanks for the video and for the free PDF. Don't forget to download the free PDF. Everything's below in the description. There's links to my website as well, where I've got base courses, t-shirts, you can get this, books, loads and loads of free base resources. So check that out, that's gbshed.com. And if you're into ZZ Top, you haven't seen it, I made a lesson on LaGrange, probably their most famous song. Um, so you'll um, get that lesson by clicking the link here um, at the screen. Okay, I've also put it in the description. This is Greg from Greg's Base Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next lesson.